Hi, welcome to Outside the Box. I'm Rob, this is Bob. This is the instructional video on how to measure your cabinets. Uh, we're refacing this 90s oak kitchen to a porcelain white on a shaker style door. And we're just gonna go through how to do that. Uh, today we have our paper, our pencil, and our tape measure. Those are pretty much the tools you need to do this uh, job. And it's pretty simple as long as you follow each step-by-step -step instruction. So what we're gonna do is right off the bat, we're gonna look at our cabinet. We're gonna decide to take this section of cabinet and measure it out. So what we need to do first is take a drawing of that cabinet. A drawing allows us to just on a have a comprehensive layout of the cabinet so we know our doors, our drawer fronts, that way we don't miss anything. Once we get done with our drawing, we're gonna start measuring them out. So what we do on our drawing is basically it's a simple drawing of each individual opening. The individual openings include double doors, which have no style in between, the style being the vertical piece of wood going up in between them, and they come together with a minimal gap. The single doors, which are just single and have a style in between, and often just sit, sit on their own like that. We have our drawer fronts and anything special such as breadboards. Once we're finished with our drawing, we're gonna start taking our measurements. Now Bob's got a pretty quick drawing right here and he's done all this while talking. It's very easy, very simple, and very quick to do. Now on here he's got our, our double doors, which he signifies with a dotted line in between and an X, showing that those doors are coming together. Any of the other openings are gonna be drawn with a solid line. Now, we're gonna start, every time we start, you wanna make sure to ha have a good order of operations with how you start. We always go left to right, top to bottom. Beginning all the way to the left side of this section of cabinets, we're gonna to come to this double door opening, open it up, and measure the width first. So the width is 25. Then we go to the height. The height is 13 and three quarters. It's important to always do the width first because that is how we determine, as far as factory standard, which way the grain is going to go. The next cabinet is 31 and a quarter by 26 and a half. This measure process is very easy, doesn't require you to take off your doors, your drawer fronts, your drawer boxes, anything like that. Your kitchen as it stands is just fine. We highly recommend using two people, one person controlling the tape measure and the other using the pen. It helps keep track of the measurements, so you don't have to keep it in your head as one person. And it's just the simplest way and measuring simple will help you keep it all to organized in the end. It makes the process much easier. So that is 31 and a quarter by 26 and a half. Now right now we're just going through and do doing these measurements right off the bat. We're going to make sure to get all our measurements down and double check every measurement so that we're confident with what we're doing. I'm gonna come down here Again, measure the width first, 25 wide, 12 and a quarter tall. Moving on, continuing our left to right order of operations, we have our single door with the style in between that we only have to measure the one opening, 18 wide by 22 tall. Continuing down the line, 18 wide by 22 tall. We're gonna go ahead and do the drawers that are right above those doors that we just did. 18 wide, four and a quarter tall. As you can see, I'm just measuring. Bob's writing down as we go and we'll go back and double check it later. 18 wide, four and a quarter tall. Double checking is very important. The old carpenter's rule of measure twice, cut once. Accuracy saves 
time, money, and headache in the long run. We have 24 inches wide and five and three quarter tall. Typically your banks of drawers are gonna be the same width all the way up, but you wanna measure them just to make sure. 24 wide, five and three quarter tall. Having each one be the same width makes it so the drawer fronts will line up later on. 24 wide, five and three quarter tall. And the last one, 24 wide, four and a quarter tall. As you're going through and opening these up, you wanna make sure to take note of any pullouts that are behind the doors, any interesting things that are going on. At first, just note them on the paperwork, and then once you're there going over your measurements, you can then uh, make sure that uh, you address those later on. Accounting for any like special th inch prep to avoid pullouts. Like this right here, we have a breadboard in this section, so we're just gonna go ahead and note that on there. It's a 17 and three quarter inch breadboard. Yeah, I notate with a BB in the area, standing for breadboard. Now that we have all our openings down, we want to decide what our doors are going to be. And important, the first thing you want to decide when calculating your doors and what is what your overlay is going to be. Before we go ahead and calculate, we want to double check all of our openings just to verify that our measurements are correct. So let's go ahead and double check them all, Rob. All right. So we have 25 wide by 13 and three quarters. Perfect. You wanna make sure to go in the exact same way that you went before. Left to right, top to bottom. 31 and a quarter wide by 26 and a half tall. Perfect. And 31 and a quarter wide by 26 and a half tall. Perfect. Bring it on down. We're gonna go 25 wide, 12 and a quarter tall. We have 18 by 22. Perfect. 18 by 22. Drawer front, 18 by four and a quarter. Perfect. 18 by four and a quarter. Twenty-four by five and three quarters. Twenty-four by five and three quarters. 24 by five and three quarters. 24 by four and a quarter. Okay. What are the benefits of writing or drawing up your outline of your kitchen is you can go back and take a count of all your doors. So I count we have 15 openings or 15 doors including our double doors and we can go back and verify this area is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15. So we have all of our doors accounted for on our drawing. All right the next thing you're going to want to do is calculate your door sizes from your openings. You do this first by determining the overlay that you want. The overlay is the amount that the door overhangs the opening. Now our standard overlay is half an inch. We highly recommend to keep it to half an inch to keep it simple. If you wanna to go to another overlay, please refer to another area of the site. Uh, so, now that we've double checked our measurements, and we know that those measurements are correct, we can continue on to calculating our door sizes.
This concludes our instructional video on how to measure your doors and your drawer fronts for refacing your cabinets. If you continue to follow these steps, it is the easiest and most accurate way to measure this. As long as you make sure that your measurements are correct. I cannot stress enough how important it is to double, triple, even quadruple check your measurements. The more comfortable you are with your measurements, the more comfortable you can be that your doors will come in correctly. On behalf of myself, Bob, and Outside the Box, I'd like to thank you for watching, and please continue watching for more instructions.